bench. They also announced earlier today that freshman Anton Watson will be missing the rest of the season with a left shoulder injury. And as I say that, I noticed that Joel Ii is actually in the starting lineups. They are the only team in the nation that can say that. They play a lot of guys, a lot of minutes, but most importantly, they share the ball. On the U16 team. Killian Tilly inside. That's just a miss. Send a second person, a second defender to help out. Quick shot on the possession for Santa Clara as Trey works the young team. <laughs> they got a bunch of guys that played a lot last year, but overall still a team full of freshmen and sophomores. Ayayi gets the roll. To elite status in the country. Not only are they winning a lot of games, they've got Final Fours, they're recruiting at a high level. And up four layups, all in the paint. they got to commit to the one-on-one -on -one defense. Good backdoor cut underneath. Jalen Williams, the freshman from Arizona for the Zags, averaged eight last year. This is grad transfer Ryan Woolridge, who gets it up top to Timmy, and a good mid-range jumper for the freshman. 77. And the most important thing about that mark at 15 and 3 is you've got a team that's accustomed to winning. Winning is an attitude. You come in here. Is out indefinitely. It's his fourth game miss. So one of the big weapons for Santa Clara out with an injury is Joel Ayayi drains the three for the Zags. And they should continue to do that. He's a very talented player. You can see the range and the ability he has. They think that's a mismatch for him. Which is averaging 11 points on the year. Killian Tilly puts them up by eight here in the first. Good rim protection by Petrushev as Frankic tried to go underneath. Gilder in the corner. You bet. Have an individual performance by somebody on your team has to really get get it going and score some buckets to kind of match and trade buckets with the with the top team. Shorten it to 20 minutes, then anything can happen. Yes, but again. Lips out. Ayayi, offensive rebound and a putback. Two points. And although this is a different Santa Clara team in terms of their experience, those players still remain. Joel Ayayi over and the finish. Quickly the other way, Trey Wirtz, Santa Clara team. They got to get Wirtz involved more. He's made a couple of nice moves. And one, Admon Gilder. Very patient Gonzaga team on the offensive end. And it takes you from 19 feet away and finishes off the glass. How do you stop that? Drew Timmy now with four points. Mitchell, excuse me, Justice got his own rebound. Gisbert feeding it inside to Petrushev. He got blocked. Mediaco stuffed it in his face. The third effort as Petrushev kept with it. Woolridge, one on one. Good find. It's Ayayi in the corner. One on one for the Broncos. But they've got to try something to get this offense going. Gilbert, crossover. The weak side defense was too weak. Jack Norvell, Josh Perkins from a team that won 33 games last year. To be 18 and 1, and the top offense in the nation is pretty remarkable. It's a nation school for a lot of the country's top recruits now. And you talk about the talent that's lost. And what they have is absolutely remarkable. And one under five minutes ago and seven on the shot clock here in the first half. Gilder, ball fake, Kispert has to let it go. As the shot clock expires, Corey Kispert's second three of the game. Mitchell, met by Drew Timmy. Woolridge pops it ahead. Joel Ayayi with a flush. In transition, they get the early post up. Inside, Petrushev, double team. This team is so good. It results in a layup when you're the Zags. They work the ball and get it to where it needs to be. Offensive rebound underneath DJ Mitchell. But the point you just made is valid, is that there is no one guy. You key in on one, somebody else steps up. Killian Tilly, who makes the three there by 33 points. And Gilder adds to it. Yeah, your you're, team. you're looking for the guys that haven't quit, the guys that haven't given up. It's a long season. There's still a lot of basketball to play. And not only will be the second-place team in this conference. 
Petrushev knocking over Pediaco. Pediaco tried to sell a charge. Referees were not having it. He needs to enroll in acting lessons <laughs> and improve because no one believed that. The ball away. Third turnover here in the second half for the Zags. They only had three total in the first half. Frankich up top. Back to back triples for Josip Frankich. In. Little momentum here for the Broncos. They got a long way to go, but that's how you want to come out start second half. Petrushev bullying his way inside and taking advantage of the freshman Bediako. And finesse. He's got the pure muscle, but he knows how to finesse and get his angles off with his layups. Petrushev up to 12 points. Late tag of basketball, but it is not. Referees stick with the call on the floor. Frank gets through the double team and won. A 60-55 win against this team, but it's going to take a heck of an effort. And that would also require a team to slow the game down, limit the possessions that Gonzaga has. Yeah, you really have to take your time on offense. Use all 30 seconds and try to just stay with them because they're... You see the confidence that Woolrich has handling the basketball. The court vision as well. Started that play up top, swung it through. He is 0 for 4 from 3 in this game. They're working so hard to get these open shots, and at the other end is that. So Cassie into the lane with the left hand. No, but Iaco with the offensive rebound. Nice move right. Then on the shot clock. 10 minutes to go here in regulation. Trey Wirtz calling for it. 3 to shoot. Nobody stepping in front of Wirtz. Yes. Had 25 or more wins in every season since 2007. First half. And he checks in here with 9.05 to go in the second. Oh, how about that? Admon Gilder, the one hand block, and then hugs it up ahead to Ayayi for the finish. The nose right now, you're talking about our guys are just a little bit Woo. more talented. The one hand snatch. Loss for them is. He's got an opportunity to be a really, really good player in this program. He went to Gonzaga Prep, the high school here in Spokane. Turnover number nine on the Zags. Cut inside, Jalen Williams. Trying to step up, fill the void of Willie Caruso, who's been out the last four games. With the leg injury, he's out indefinitely. Petrushev, the turnaround on the inside, he's up to 18. Corner, it's Ayayi. Timmy comes in for the offensive rebound. Ayayi, a little dipsy do going inside. Got pushed off of his line. Good defense by the freshman, Alauskas. And back the other way. They're going to reward the freshman for making a good defensive stand on the other end. Uh, Dick, we really made that point with us earlier this morning about how he was pleased that they do bring it every night. Zakharov, the block from behind. When they try to feed him the ball. Crowd wanting that hundredth point. They go inside and they get it. Better than this, you just gotta have a short memory. Let this game go, focus on the next one. They won't shoot this poorly ever again the remainder of the season. It's just an off night for the 102. But what they did on the defensive end of the floor really enabled what they did on the offensive end. Zakharov got the offensive rebound and the putback. And he screams to the rafters, let's go. He doesn't care if it's the first point or the 104th. The dominance continues in conference for Mark Few. They're 5-0 in conference play. Their third straight decimation of Santa Clara.